Hi, I'm John Fagenkrantz. This is Whittington Gallery and Studios, 307 Whittington Avenue. I started this gallery four years ago to have a place for artists to show their work, local artists. We have uh, 58 local artists here and uh, try to make it affordable and just not make a profit but just break even. I was always been an artist. I retired from, uh, from my business and decided to start a studio and one thing led to another. I had so many people coming in looking for a place to show their art that that's kind of how it got started. It's doing good. You know, my vision was to start this off and do the improvements as we went along. And when I first bought the building, we had no windows in the front, no doors and, and stuff. So we've kind of done that. We've got a nice patio in the back. We've kind of done the floors, heating, air conditioning. Every, every month I try to do another little thing. Everybody loves it because we try to make it a laid back kind of place where it's not pretentious, where people can have fun, enjoy themselves. We had the band playing. It's just to have, let people have fun and chill, you know, and, and just enjoy the artwork. And we have these local artists that sometimes don't get exposure. The biggest thing for me was the amount of people. I just get people every single day looking for a place to show their art. And you know, we have people that from one level to, to another level that, that come here and, and are looking for a place to show their art. I think there's a lot of people that, like me, that did it when they were kids and they, they got a job and did their life and then when they retire, they're looking to regain all that thing that they, they didn't do. And I think, you know, it's such a big retirement place that all these people are doing the same thing I was doing. I mean, we got a great police, Mary Zunick. She just promotes the living daylights out of this, you know, and it's a great little town. That's what inspired me to do what I do is the downtown area with the Vapor Valley stuff, man. It just turned me on because where I came from, they tore all the old buildings down and we didn't have that. So this is, I consider this my home now. Well, mine's kind of mixed media, you know. I use markers and paper and paint and I use whatever I can. But it's all, it's all, it all has to do with the downtown. It just is such a magical place for me that my little Paper Valley buildings, they don't look like downtown, they look magical, and that's how I see the downtown. So that was all, the whole process of doing that was such a magical place, you know. Support the arts. We try to, we're trying to make Whittington Avenue a kind of a hip place to, to go, just like downtown, just like Park Avenue. And, you know, that's my goal. If, if I would have realized what I do know now about it is, it helped me relax. And I had my own business, had stresses, and when I could get in there and just do what I'm doing, I don't think about the stresses of the day, I just do my thing, and that's quite enjoyable.